Not only is Edinburgh maroon, but today Hearts have painted Glasgow maroon. They've defeated Hibernian by two goals to one to book their place in the Scottish Cup final. For the third time in four years, Hearts will contest a Scottish Cup final. That is absolutely phenomenal. Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland TV for your Edinburgh Derby Scottish Cup semi-final match review where it finished Hearts 1, Hibs 2. Not as comfortable as I would have liked, a bit nervy towards the end, but the job was done, we got the win, and, and that's that's all that matters. But again, yeah, not the greatest performance, especially second half, and it did get nervy at times. At times I really was beginning to worry, but thankfully after Hibs went into 10 men, that kind of neutralised any threat they had. Of course, we still relied on one world-class save, from Craig Gordon, I don't know how the guy does it, he gets better with age, but speaking of world class, that strike from Stephen Kingsley, it doesn't get any better than that, Stephen Kingsley has one of the best left foots, I think, going in football at the moment, definitely in Scotland, but we'll start with the first half, uh, Boyce had the best chance of the opening 10 minutes, he was through down the wing, he had Sims in the middle, a simple ball into the middle to Sims, and it's 1-0, but instead, Boyce can't really control the ball. And then He then attempts a shot or something and just, like, falls over the ball, and the ball goes out for a goal kick. It was terrible. Sims was there. If Boyce played Sims through, this 100% would have been a goal, but he decided not to. But we didn't need to wait long after that. Hibbs decided to gift us a goal. The ball was passed straight to Sims from the Hibs defender and Sims with a great finish on the edge of the box gave Matt Macy no chance 1-0 Hearts and not long after that guys we doubled the lead with Stephen Kingsley it was Boyce that laid off the free kick to him and Stephen Kingsley plants it right into the top corner of the goal Matt Macy absolutely no chance nothing Macy could have done to save this and that made it 2-0 and at this stage I was genuinely believing that we were going to go and win about 4-5 now, we were in complete control, but Tony Sibic, why, or Toby, Tony, whatever the fuck he calls himself, to I think it's Toby, Toby Sibic, why he decided to just not clear the ball in a dangerous situation, I do not know, he lost out, um, Hibbs got the ball into the box, I believe it fell for, I think it was Clark, I want to say, no it was Chris Caden I think, the ball fell for Chris Caden, a bit of a ping pong in the Hearts box, and finally Caden smashed it in for about 8 yards, and this all came from Sibic, he had a chance to clear it, he didn't, then he lost the ball, and Hibbs scored, so I guess you could say it's kind of equal, because Hibbs gifted us the opening goal, albeit it was a great finish from Sims, but uh, yeah, Tony Sibic, Toby Sibic, gave the ball away here, and it gave Hibbs a way back into the game, and they scored straight after it was 2-0, and there was actually a portion of Hibbs fans leaving the game at 2-0, which... It's kind of embarrassing. I mean, it's only 2-0 20 minutes in. But had Hibs not responded straight away, I genuinely believe that we would have went on and absolutely dominated this game and won by a really big margin. It wasn't to be, though, but the margin at half-time should have been bigger than 2-1 because Boyce was through again on the brink of half-time and he failed to hit the target. He pulled it wide and from here, he really should have did better. Matt Macy came out to force, I guess, an angle to force Boyce into a decision. It was a good goalkeeper, but Boyce surely has to do better here. And it's two goals that Boyce has let us do in the opening half. If he plays through Sims first time, and if he gets a shot on target second time, he really should be finishing that for a striker on the, just before half time there. But no, we went to the break 2-1, even though I felt we were the much better team in the first half. We couldn't really capitalise on that. We only had a one goal lead and in the second half guys things from our perspective in terms of playing well and creating chances it kind of fell apart we did not play well in this second half Hibbs definitely started the better team on the 54th minute one of the best saves of the season perhaps the save of the season from Craig Gordon Hibernian corner gets whipped in Ryan Porteous wins the header on it, and Craig Gordon, again, like fucking Superman, like Stretch Armstrong, he somehow manages to get his arm out to make the save, he saves the header onto the post, and then he gets a bit of fortune, a bit of luck, when the ball rolls back into his hands, but after pulling off that save, he deserved that bit of luck, right, it would have been absolutely sickening, had 
he saved that. The ball hit the post and then came out to a Hibs player for a tap in. Craig Gordon deserved, uh, deserved that bit of luck and he got it. Then we move to 65th minute. Newell gets sent off for a second yellow. <sighs> Seeing the replay, it does look slightly harsh. But being on a second yellow, when your team was on the up, when Hibs were, I wouldn't say they were in control of the game, but they were definitely the better team at this stage. And you're chasing, you know, a, a two-goal deficit. It's, it's ludicrous from Newell to even give the the referee this sort of decision to make. He was never getting the ball. I don't know why he bothered sliding in, but he did. And for him, you know, it was a wrong decision, going to get sent off. And yeah, we weren't playing good at the moment, but let's be real, Hibs were hacking our players a lot and we, we lost quite a few players to injury we lost Andy Halliday, then we lost Halkett, the Halkett injury looks really really bad, when you get taken off in a stretcher it never looks good uh, we also lost Kingsley late on as well, so yeah I mean we might have got through but at what cost guys because it seems like we have quite a lot of injured players, uh, 72nd minute, Mackay played through Sims Sims shot was saved by Macy, decent save, Mackay tried to get the rebound, but that was blocked, went for a heart's corner, not a lot materialised from that, um, and then in the last, was it five minutes, it, uh, was it Clark or was it Doyle Hayes, or who was it, was it Henderson, I, I don't remember who it was, but someone came in with an absolutely horrendous challenge and only got a yellow when it should have been a red, so I don't know why. Is it because it wasn't an, a tackle on an old firm player? If you remember the tackle that Ryan Porteous did on Rangers and he got red carded, this, this was way worse than that. Yet the Hibs player only got a yellow. Um, someone else got a yellow for Hearts for complaining about it. I think it was Haring. I think it's Peter Haring got booked. And I think Paul Hanlon went into the book as well because they were complaining about the card. And then we're in the dying seconds of the game. I think there was a couple of minutes left. And Taylor Moore challenges for a ball. The referee doesn't give the free kick to Hibbs. The Hibbs player wants the free kick. The referee's telling them to play on. And then Taylor Moore gets up and just fucking pushes him to the ground on the edge of the box. And he's on a yellow card. And then the referee gives him the free kick. So originally he didn't give the free kick. But because Taylor Moore got up and reacted the way he did, the referee decided to then give the free kick for the push. And thankfully, Scott, he did force a save off a... Of a Craig Gordon, but it was a decent save for Craig Gordon. That was the last chance Hibs had, but that could have been that could have been horrendous. There, Taylor Moore could have cost us that game in ninety minutes. And who knows if Hibs score that free kick or if they you know whip it in and get a header and they get a goal, it could have been into extra time. Who knows what would have happened? So um, absolutely horrendous decision there for Taylor Moore. Has to do better. Two one up. You cannot lose your cool like that, especially on the edge of the box. But anyway, we got the job done. Referee played like an extra minute of extra time, but I think there was some injuries and holds up during the 8 minutes of additional extra time, so I can't really complain too much about that. In the end, we won 2-1. Like I said, not the prettiest game, not the, the greatest performance for us, especially second half. We did not really muster up many opportunities, and who knows, if Hibs don't go down to 10 men, maybe it's a different game. But in the end, we got the win. We're into the final, and now we'll meet either Rangers or Celtic. I can't wait. It's about time we won the Scottish Cup. It's been too long since we won our trophy, and winning the Scottish Cup would cap uh, would cap off an absolutely tremendous season. So that's us guaranteed Europa League group stage football as well. Whether it be the Europa League or the Europa League Conference next season, we will be playing group stage football. So all in all, fantastic day into the final European group stage football confirmed and a chance to win another major cup trophy. Doesn't get any better than that, guys. That is it for your review. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, subscribe, share down below. Losing my voice here. So aye, I need to go before I lose it permanently. Hearts 2, Hibernian 1. Absolutely buzzing, guys. What a result, what a day. And hopefully we can complete the job when we take on the Mankey Mob, either it be Celtic or Rangers in the final. But until then... Peace.